Hey guys, it's Thursday, April 2nd, and I am not in my room. I am in the music technology lab. See, look, it's a pretty, pretty Mac. However, it doesn't have a webcam, so I can't use it to record this. And as some of you pointed out, yesterday was in fact Wednesday, not Monday. I was real tired, I'm sorry about that. And also, as most of you guessed, I'm not actually pregnant. I did manage to at least partially fool some of you, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm not very good at coming up with April Fool's pranks like I used to be. In fact, I have here in this journal a list of pranks that my friend Laura and I played on her family when I was in the sixth grade. See? April Fool's tricks. And we checked them off as we did them, or crossed them out if we failed to complete them. And I wrote little comments like, it looked so real, and so funny. One of our best tricks was making fake people. Like, we took some of her clothes and stuffed them and made them look like a person and we sat them in the garage. Then we put pillows under the blankets of all the beds to look like people. And then we hid and her mom was running around everywhere trying to find us. And there were these fake people everywhere and she's freaking out. And I know it sounds lame, but we thought it was so funny. And she totally fell for it. And we made one of her sister's friends hide from her sister. <laughs> and I wrote, she almost cried. We were good. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is my journal for my sixth grade English class. We had to write in this thing every single day. However, the goal here was quantity, not quality. So I basically used my writing time each day to come up with the crappiest stories and poems that I could possibly think of. And I'm gonna read you one of those stories right now. This is Embarrassing Relic from my childhood, part two. This story is called, What Happened When the Tooth Fairy Took the Night Off. One day, the Tooth Fairy decided to get a day job, so she took the night off. Then trillions of kids didn't get tooth money. <laughs> trillions, big word there. These kids were demanding, so they screamed for years. Finally, they screamed so loud that their ears and their parents, I'm assuming that's parents' ears, fell off. Then they didn't hear the smoke alarm when it went off. They burned down with their houses. This caused global mourning. <laughs> I was so clever. They mourned for years. Next, they fought over whose fault it was. I'm not sure who this ambiguous they is. And this caused World War III. Then they took it beyond that. Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn fought Earth, Mars, Uranus, and Neptune. This was the start of Solar System War I. I guess we're assuming that there's gonna be a Solar System War II. Then they all got together and bombed Pluto. That's why it isn't a planet anymore. <laughs> The explosion sent highly explosive rock formations out and sliced the planets in half. This caused the planets to fade away. And what about the people? Yep, they're still falling today. I guess all this fighting made gravity exist in space? I don't know. So there never was a new millennium, and all this happened because the Tooth Fairy took the night off. The end. Well, there you go. There's your solution for Y2K. Just, um, blow up all the planets. Well, that's all I have for you today. Come back tomorrow and you might just learn a little something about those planets I mentioned.